The progress of human life has always been closely met with the fish. An integral part of everyday life, the fish has graced the tables of gourmet cuisine while providing health and succor to the common man. The long Indian coastline provides the opportunity to nurture fishing as a profession, primarily because it is an integral part of the daily diet across millions of Indian homes. With Indian aquaculture becoming a thriving industry over the past two decades, the world today looks towards India to provide high-quality export variety of fish. The Rajiv Gandhi Center for Aquaculture in Tamil Nadu is an initiative to support high-quality production of commercial fish across aqua farms in the country. The focus of the RGCA is to establish technology development centers across the country which holistically set up, train and nurture aquaculture projects to produce the highest quality fish which will grace the tables across the world. In order to streamline and seamlessly transfer technology and training, the RGCA has established a large complex at Seed Gali in Tamil Nadu. This nerve center is equipped with a sophisticated pathology and nutrition lab, a library, a prototype aquaculture demonstration unit. All of this will provide expertise to identify and implement aquaculture systems and projects anywhere in the world. Knowledge and technology transfer will be made available to anyone who is keen to move into aquaculture farming. With the demand for the export of grouper growing, RGCA has established a specialized grouper project in the Andaman Islands, as the islands offer pristine environmental conditions for the growth of this hardy fish variety. This venture will demonstrate the efficacy of large-scale production of grouper seeds while simultaneously showcasing the ease of open-gauge farming of groupers. Tiger grouper, the humpback grouper, the coral grouper and the Napoleon grass all reach large marketable sizes within 12 to 18 months. On an average, the grouper fetches the entrepreneur anywhere between 90 to 100 US dollars per kilogram. The biggest advantage which this hatchery will provide to the farmer is that the brood stock would provide fingerlings which are healthy and disease free and can grow well in open sea cages. The grouper hatchery here also breeds tiger grouper brood stock and coral trout brood stock. With the world finding that the Asian sea bass numbers were dwindling due to illegal fishing, it became important to RGCA to ensure that a value chain approach for the fish is created and spread across the country. In order to make this fish type commercially viable and profitable to farmers and exporters, The RGCA hatchery at Torivai village in Nagapattinam has demonstrated that monoculture of sea bass was possible in open ponds using farm-made feed. The farmer could harvest about 3.5 tons per hectare from an open pond and for the first time more than 12.4 tons per hectare was produced from the cages. Near Trivandrum in the village of Puriyu a pilot scale project is underway for the production of Corbia seeds. The focus is to ensure that the farmers are able to see the advantages of sustainable Corbia culture in open sea cages. At Manikonda village in Krishna district, RGCA has set up a monosex tilapia demonstration farm. The World Fish Centre Malaysia and Fish Gen of UK are collaborating on this venture. This farm is engaged in evolving a tilapia strain which is well suited to Indian conditions. At Karaikal, RGCA has a mud crab demo farm where different methods of grow out production systems practiced worldwide are demonstrated. Soft crab production and training of farmers to adopt and benefit from mud crab farming are regularly underway. To the farmer and the exporter, what this would mean is the availability of healthy mud crabs which are well grown and large within a time span of 180 days of culture. At Taruvaikulam in Tutikorin, 
RGCA has initiated a pilot project which would produce Artemia cyst and biomass on land-based earthen farms. This initiative will lay the road for production of the cyst and biomass on a large commercial scale by entrepreneurs. RGCA will be at the helm of taking the Indian aquaculture to a new frontier. Using technology to conserve and preserve the environment, RGCA will help entrepreneurs and farmers across the world to benefit from large-scale commercialization of aquaculture, which in turn would provide high-quality fish for consumption. RGCA, sustaining aquaculture, sustaining the environment. Shrimp has become an integral part of gourmet cuisine and everyday food as well. The growing demand for good quality shrimp has been on the rise the world over. Shrimp farming had hit the Indian shores almost two decades ago. The black tiger shrimp cultivation saw the mushrooming of hatcheries and farms across Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Orissa. By 2000, India was in the forefront of shrimp production and over 1 lakh tons was being exported year after year. With availability of healthy, infection-free, wild brood stock being on the decline, the production of tiger shrimp too began to drop. Besides, it became imperative that the Indian shrimp farming industry needed to domesticate its wild brood stock. Domestication of the black tiger shrimp became the sole focus of RGCA as this breed was conducive to aquaculture farming in India. With the Andaman and Nicobar Islands offering excellent biosecurity, RGCA decided to locate the domestication of the Black Tiger Shrimp project here at a facility at Kodiaghat near Fort Blair. This facility has pre-primary quarantine unit as well as a secondary quarantine unit and produces disease-free, high-quality brood stock. This domestication project will enable farmers to grow and nurture disease-free shrimp. RGCA's primary focus has been to establish high-technology development centers in aquaculture in India. The centers have been designed to offer research and development studies in aquaculture technologies while offering practical knowledge of hatchery and culture technologies for shrimp, lobster, crab, mussels and other seafood. To supplement this program, RGCA has set up an aquatic quarantine center for the Latin American white shrimp and its Nopoli production facility at Nilangare near Chennai. This high health production center would provide disease resistant shrimp for farmers in India, thereby increasing yield and profitability shrimp being prone to infection and disease rather easily. What each of the RGCA facilities would do is to make sure that disease-causing agents are taken away from the culture conditions so that there is no large-scale disease outbreak which can impact the farmers as well as the exporter. At Kankipadu in Vijayawada, RGCA has implemented a project which will develop an all-male population of scampi. All these efforts would directly translate into better yield and higher profitability for farmers and entrepreneurs who are engaged in freshwater shrimp farming as well as export. RGCA ensures that at every one of these facilities, the focus is on conducting natural enhancement programs which support the environment and in no way mitigate the existing natural stock. The concentrated efforts of RGCA in analyzing, researching, demonstrating and promoting the efficacy of aquaculture will without doubt contribute substantially to the export potential of seafood in India. It would also enrich the livelihoods of aquaculture farmers across the country as it would enable them to profit from larger and disease-free harvests. The next decade will see Indian seafood take the center stage across the world and the name synonymous with this sea change would be RGCA, 
Sustaining Aquaculture Sustaining the Environment Do you know the care that goes into the finest seafood on your table? Nothing but the best. The world had turned to eating out and bringing home restaurant food at least five times a week. America tops the list of being dependent on restaurant food, on which seafood is the most preferred. With the changing lifestyles across the world, the requirement of processed, ready-to-eat food has become a necessity. The fact that fish has a high protein and low fat has made it one of the most popular preferred meals across the globe. We at MPDA believe that the time is right for the country to open our doors to the world to become one of the finest processing hubs of the world. We have over 420 seafood processing units in the country of which more than 50% have been HACCP certified and have approvals from the European Union. The focus for the government as well as for the industry is now to make India the processing hub for the world. This would also utilize the installed capacity of the processing units and thereby improve their financial health. Our focus is to be at par with the best in the world in terms of value-added products such as ready-to-eat and ready-to-cook foods. Reason enough for us to feel in Empita that the time has come for us to realize our vision that 75% of our exported seafood would be in the value-added form with the best of taste and the best of quality. Towards enabling this vision to become a reality, MPEDA has initiated a new scheme, Technology Upgradation Scheme for Marine Products, which would facilitate further investment in infrastructure for high-end value addition of seafood. With health becoming a focal point and seafood fast replacing red meats on the table, the future for the Indian marine industry lies in catering to the 945,000 restaurants and food service outlets in the United States of America. Ethnic flavors from Asia have become hot favorites. Healthy eating is a fast-gaining fad and omega-3 fatty acids have become an integral part of every dieter's life cycle today. Seafood appetizers are hot favorites as well. India has uh, probably some of the largest number of uh, European Union approved uh, seafood factories. Uh, infrastructure has improved uh, uh, enormously. Our, uh, uh, in, uh, logistics of, uh, uh, of post-harvest uh, transportation has also in, uh, improved uh, substantially. Uh, all this has res resulted in uh, India now having the capability of producing uh, high value added uh, seafood products. We have competitively priced labor as well as the raw material resource base. Uh, the Marine Product Development Authority is uh, one of its visions is to develop India as a major international seafood processing hub. When it comes to value added seafood from India, the world has its favorites. Shrimp which is ready to be skewered, fish fillets and steaks of tuna, tilapia, sea bass, squid balls, microwavable ready to eat and ready to cook foods have become the order of the day. With this demand on the rise, products which meet the Food Council standards across the world are fast gaining popularity and Indian food seems to have found a place in every home and restaurant. Today you see India has emerged as a major player in value adding our products. We have not only started value adding in terms of basic cooking of product, but we have also got into prepared meals and that is what the trend that is uh, emerging today. So I think this is basically the beginning of a, of a new era where the Indian seafood is going to reach the consumer in a ready to eat form and provide a new beginning and a platform for our Indian exports to become a major value 